In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a chart like this that has your actuals and forecast amounts all in one chart. The only difference being the actuals are appearing as a solid line and the forecasted amounts are on a dashed line. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to sheet two here and show you how to create this with just the sales numbers starting. So I've got my sales numbers and what I'm gonna do is create another column here for Say forecasted values and all I'm going to do is just add 10% to to my actuals so equals times 1.1 and then equals times 1.1 copy this all the way up and now what I can do is go to insert and just select a line chart whichever one works and the one thing you'll notice right off the bat is there's a bit of a gap here and so to fix that, what I'm going to do is in the forecasted values column, I'm just going to make it equal to where I left off on the actuals. And then that bridges that gap, so it's not there anymore. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these categories around, because right now I've got 2022 at the beginning, and I want that at the end. Um, you could restructure how this, how this looks, but I just want to show you how you could flip this if you wanted to. So I could go to Format Axis and check off categories in reverse order. And so now I've got, I've, got, I've got the dates going the way I want them to. Now, for, for the actual line itself, I want it to be all the same color and I don't want a legend. All I want is the difference being that the forecasted amounts are showing up as dashes. So if you want to change the line color on this format data series option, you know, you can you can do all that in here. Just want to make sure the marker, you know, depending on the on the format of the chart, there might be multiple places where you change colors like that one has a blue outline as well. So you've got the line being the same color. And here, you've, here I've got another one. So that's the tricky part. If you want to change the colors, sometimes there's multiple places to, to do that because you've got multiple outlines, you've got a line, you've got a marker. So so that looks like one continuous line. But the one thing I wanna do is right click on this forecasted amount and go back into here. And for the dash type, this is the, the key to make this different is I'm gonna select this, this sec, second option from the top where it's a square dot. And now you'll see that, you know, the only difference between these two charts, between these two line charts is that dashed line. And then I can go ahead and delete that legend. And now everything looks like just, uh, just a single line chart there. So that's a quick overview of how you can do this in Excel with uh, just putting two line charts. And the key really is just making sure you have one column for your actuals, one for your forecast amounts, and making sure you've got that initial value overlapping just so there's not a, not a break between those lines.